Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dribble Studios channel. Today I'm going to be continuing on with our Scratch RPG series. Okay, so today I'm going to be uh, making a new NPC. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty basic. Uh, it's not too difficult, but uh, it won't be too easy. So, first thing we want to do is right click on NPC1 and click duplicate. Then it will make a duplicate of NPC1 down the bottom. Let's just drag this up here. So it's after NPC1. Uh, we can keep its name as NPC2. So that's what it should be. And this NPC for us is going to like teleport us to a... I'm not sure. A mine or something. Where we can fight monsters get coins and stuff to then buy things constant progress in other words so the first thing uh, we want to do is make a new sprite so I'm gonna go to costumes and I'm gonna delete this this sprite is really good not gonna lie I'm just gonna paste in the original scratch character because that's what I'm gonna be modeling ours on so uh, I'm not sure what theme I really want to go for However, I might go for a, maybe like a, I'm not sure, maybe a, um, a, a pirate. I don't know, it's just the first thing that came to mind. So I'm going to draw my sprite. Um, be back with you in a second. Okay, so I have drawn a very rough pirate. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not very good, but, you know, um, it's, it's better than nothing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the text here. So instead of saying hello press E to open the shop, we're going to get rid of that uh, and it will be hello press E to, oh, oh what has happened here, blimey, go, oh, go to the mine and that's what we're gonna call it okay so this script here is for the open shop uh, so we don't we don't want him to open a shop we want to uh, we can just get rid of that text here and I'm gonna clean up blocks I'm also gonna set his position to minus 200 actually wait let's just do 200 and then zero uh, uh, and then for here we want instead of grassland we want him to go only show at the sand mainland and we're gonna call him minor mac why not there we go okay so now if we uh, go play the game we can move around let's go to the sandland and he'll be here uh, he's facing that way we can fix that. Hello, press E to go to the mine. Okay. So, in order to fix him facing that way, uh, instead of putting 90 here, put minus 90 here. And that on this clock shape thing, instead of it being pointing to 3 o'clock, it will be pointing to 9 o'clock, which is exactly what we want. Uh, and instead of this full 360 degrees rotate button here we want to change it to the left and right one here so now if you have done that correctly we can play the game again sandland and he will be facing here wonderful that's exactly what we wanted so now we want him to take us to the mine itself so we want to go create a new backdrop so i'm going to go and just copy the sand mainland so it's under here i'm also going to drag it under here so this doesn't screw up any of the code and i'm going to call this one mine i'm going to call it mine one because in the future we could have different levels of the mine i'm going to have a nice 60 brightness gray here wonderful so now that we have got the rough backdrop of the mine if you don't want to create your own I'm pretty sure you can choose a backdrop and if you search cave that 
Ordnung. Oh, nein. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is a... Uh, I'm pretty sure there is a... No, there's not. Never mind. My bad. So once we've got the mine, it's very bland looking, yes, but it, it it's fine. It will do. We want it to... We want our NPC to free duplicate this. We want it to switch backdrop to the mine. So let's just duplicate this one. And when the backdrop switches to mine one, we want him to hide. Very, very nice indeed. We can do the same for NPC one. So when let's just grab this, change this one to mine one, duplicate the hide block and boom. As you can see. No longer here, no longer here. Bingo! That's exactly what we wanted. So now we want it to switch the backdrop. So we want it to, if touching uh, main C, uh, just operators grab an and, if touching main C and sensing key pressed. So we want uh, the letter E. We want it to switch backdrop to mine one. Wonderful. Now we've got this. Um, we can now go to the mine, which is what we want. Um, however, this means we can access the mine with our uh, inventory open. So if we just get out of that. Good operators, grab another and, put the and in there, drag it back in there, grab an equal to variables, open in equals one, oh sorry, zero. And that instantly means we can no longer do it if our inventory is open. So if we play now, as you can see we move around stuff, lovely jubbly, let's go to Sandland, let's go to Minor Mac. If we click E here, we get teleported to the mine. However, we can no longer move. Let's fix that. So we we'll head over to our main character and we duplicate this one here. We can get rid of that and drag that into there and then drag it back into the place. Uh, we all know and love where it originally was. So and this backdrop number is 5 so if we head over to main character or backdrop number equals 5 then we can move so this means we can now move once we go over to the mine as you can see now we can move beautiful that's exactly what we wanted so now we now you may be asking oh now we have to code a way to go back no we don't we should be able to click the map button and head over to sandland once again or we could head over to the grassland anyway let's go back into the cave beautiful now i just want to prep us for the start of next video which will be monsters and coins and currencies and stuff and then the video after that it will be the shop and stuff so let's just go ahead and create a sprite I'm gonna paint lovely jubbly I'm now gonna go and paint my sprite I'll be back once I've done that so, once you have painted your sprite, as you can see I've painted it here, uh, I didn't actually paint this myself, I went into Scratch and borrowed one of their sprites, uh, because I couldn't really think of anything to do, so I kind of changed up Gobo a bit, uh, to look more sinister I guess. 
So once we have this, we're going to rename the sprite NPC. Uh, I'm going to call it dash M1 for NPC monster 1. Uh, I'm now going to drag this behind NPC 2. So after we have that, we just want it to hide because we're not actually ready for it. So let's just grab uh, some of these here and we're just going to duplicate them five times for five different backdrops. Okay, so we have grass mainland, sand mainland, map, main menu and mine. Mine is the only one we want our monster to show on. I'm also going to change the size of our monster to be uh, 45. That is uh, a, good, a good size, I think. I think it's a good size. So, once we have our monster, we want it to uh, move towards our player. So, we want to grab a when green flag clicked. We want a forever. And then we want a if then. And then we want a backdrop equal to backdrop number is equal to five. Then we want to glide one sex to main C. Obviously, one sex is a bit too quick, so we're going to do five seconds simply because it is quite. Uh, it's, it's going to be the first monster in the game. So let's just go over here. Let's do this. And as you can see, it goes to our position and then comes back. So it goes to where we were. And then keeps on following. Goes to where and then goes to our current new position. Okay, so. Now, if you want it to be more of a uh, efficient enemy monster, whatever you want to call it, um, I suggest putting a wait one seconds on, so we constantly have to move and we get time to, you know, see what it's doing. So, obviously, you can see. It loves moving which is which is good so this sets us up perfectly for next episode uh, next episode I think I'm actually gonna be doing a uh, health uh, and a combat system I think that's what I'm gonna be doing next instead of the um, uh, shop currencies I know I keep putting that videos those those couple of videos off and stuff but um, I feel like we need to get down on every little subtle step so the inventory system was a big crucial step we got that out of the way uh, the combat system this will actually give us currency to then buy the items that we want um, and yeah so you know we're slowly building up to the full game um, the combat system that can branch off into its own category. Uh, the inventory system uh, is like the main, the, the main thing that has opened up all these different paths that we can go through. So obviously, I'm going down and to do the combat system now, which will open up the shops and the shops and the NPC currencies and that sort of thing, and it will also open up. Um, a combat system with bosses um, and more levels and stuff like that so there's many things I can do here uh, please tell me down in the comments what you want to do uh, I will see you in the next video leave a like and subscribe goodbye